Tonight at 5, a wife and mother's emotional message after your tips help solve a brutal crime. Nate Green and his four-year-old son were hospitalized after a hit and run crash outside Harris Teeter in the Blakeney Shopping Center. Police say Crime Stoppers tips led to several arrests in the case. Tonight, Nate's wife is thanking everyone who called in with tips saying they blessed her family. NBC Charlotte's Alex Shabbat is following the latest developments. He joins us live at CMPD headquarters. Alex, how's the family doing? Well, Fred Amber Green said her husband is still dealing with serious injuries from that hit and run crash, but she says this case was only solved because of your help. Thank you to each of you that helped to solve the crime. You have blessed my family. This woman's words of gratitude, a sign of progress since these heart-wrenching photos. Her husband, Nate Green, and their four-year-old son hospitalized after a hit and run. Well, my husband has a long road to recovering. He has um, post-concussion syndrome, still cannot taste or smell. Has but Amber Green says the emotional pain eased knowing three suspects were arrested. It's hard to rest and have peace in your heart and mind knowing that the individuals res responsible were out there. The arrest came after police released these photos. Investigators say the father and son hit by a vehicle after a suspect stole beer at this Harris Teeter. But in the weeks that followed, Amber says she had a very different experience at local stores. We literally had perfect strangers recognizing us as a result of the Crime Stoppers and the news feeds that came like we, in grocery stores or random you know stores that we were in. Police say the suspects in the case among the 200 arrests made just this year because of Crime Stopper tips. In all, nearly 2,500 tips in 20 2018, according to CMPD. As a victim of the crime, please don't hesitate. Please do it. And for this family, a reckless criminal act is now revealing the compassion of a community. You may have that one piece of information that could solve the crime that could make the difference in the world. Amber said her young son is recovering nicely, but her husband could be dealing with the symptoms for years to come. Live at CMPD headquarters, Alex Shabad, NBC Charlotte. I'm glad they have someone in custody, though. Alex, thank you.